Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be looking at wages and salaries and gross earnings. We will cover the following topics in this section. We will understand the methods of calculating gross earnings for salaries and wages. We will find overtime earnings for over 40 hours of work per week. We will use the overtime premium method of calculating gross earnings. We will find overtime earnings for over 8 hours of work per day. We will find equivalent earnings for different pay periods. And we will find overtime for salaried employees. Let's look at an example in which we will find gross earnings. An employee normally fills out a time card, which is a record of each employee's work. Employees are normally paid overtime wages, which is a higher than normal wage for all hours over 40 worked per week. Time and a half rate is one and a half times the normal rate for overtime hours. In the following example, we're going to use the overtime premium method to determine gross earnings. Overtime is paid at time and a half rate for all hours over 40. We will add up the hours worked here by our, our employee, and we'll see that these hours add up to 50, 50.25 hours. The regular rate is $8.60. The overtime hours, all hours worked over 40 hours in a week qualified for overtime hours. So we have 10.25 hours of overtime hours, which is 50.25 subtract 40. And the overtime premium rate is when the employee is paid one half of the regular rate, which is one half of $8.60, which is $4.30 for each hour over 40. So the overtime premium rate is $4.30. So the gross earnings will be regular earnings, will be 50.25 hours at the regular rate of $8.60, which is $432.15. And the overtime earnings will be ten. 0.25 hours times $4.30, which is $44.08. Adding these two values together, the earnings value, regular earnings and overtime earnings, gives us $476.00. And 23 cents. Now let's discuss equivalent earnings for different pay periods. The common pay periods are monthly, in which the employee receives 12 paychecks each year, semi-monthly or twice each month, in which the employee receives 24 paychecks each year, bi-weekly is every two weeks, in which the employee receives 26 paychecks each year, and weekly, which is 52 paychecks each year. Now let's look at an example in which we look at the equivalent earnings for this employee. Michelle Rada manages a Starbucks coffee shop and is paid $42,900 annually. Find the equivalent earnings if this amount is paid weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly. If she is paid weekly, then weekly she earns $42,900 divided by 52, which is $825 weekly. If she is paid bi-weekly, then we have her annual salary, $42,900, divided by 26 pay periods each year, which is 
$50 biweekly. If she is paid semi-monthly, then her $42,900 salary is divided into 24 pay periods, which gives her $1,787.50 semi-monthly. And if she is paid monthly, then her $42,900 annual salary is divided by 12 paychecks, which results in $3,575 monthly. Now we will calculate overtime for salaried employees. Alicia Klein is paid $728 a week as an insurance office manager. Her normal work week is 40 hours. She gets paid time and a half for overtime. Find her gross earnings for a week in which she works 46 hours. Let's first find her hourly rate, which is $728 per week divided by 40 hours per week, which is $18.20 per hour. So her overtime rate will be $18.20 per hour times 1.5, which is time and a half, which is $27.30 for overtime. As far as her overtime hours, she has worked six hours overtime this week, so her overtime pay will be six hours times $27.30, which is $163.80. So her gross earnings will be $728 salary for the 40 hours plus $163.80 overtime, which gives us a grand total of $891.80 gross earnings for the week. In this section, we have discussed gross earnings, wages, and salaries. Certainly, that is a real-life application for all of us. So take these exercises and practice some on your own.